Here's a quick tip using Chief Architect Premier, how to build a pier foundation. I'm working in Chief Architect's Premier X5. Uh, we're in a full perspective overview right now. Let's get into our floor plan view as well. So I'm going to tile vertically. With our floor plan view selected, I'm going to zoom in using my scroll wheel and get into my floor tools. Under that floor tool option, we have all of the different options for building multiple stories or your foundation. So let's get into that build foundation. The first option here is auto rebuild foundation. I'm going to select that so if we do make any changes, whether we're moving walls or adding additional spaces, it will automatically update for us. We have three automatic foundation options walls with footings, with piers, or the monolithic slab option. You have control over that slab, whether it's on top of the stem wall, you have control over your wall, um, all of the different controls in here. I'm going to select that wall option. We can specify our footings, uh, whether we would like vertical footings and so forth. We can also change that wall thickness, or under the wall types, we can get into the define area and modify that wall and create your own wall type and save that um, in here as well. So back into our foundation options, I'm going to select the wall with piers. So I'm going to keep my wall as an 18 inch concrete stem wall and I'll keep it at that 16 inches as well. For my piers, I want to make sure that this is 8 to match that 8 inch stem wall. We can change that depth, uh, we can also do the max separation, um, and then we can change it from round to square, so let's modify that to square here. Under this options tab, we can also see our rebar options. Uh, so under pier, you can modify that as well. I'll select OK, and this will build our pier foundation. Um, in our 2D plan view, you'll notice that we have gone down to floor zero, the foundation level, and we can specify the, uh, the spacing. We can just single click on each individual footing and modify that in depth if we'd like to. Um, I would like to build additional piers across the structure. Uh, we're going to need some more support there, so I'm going to just go up to my first level. And in this design, uh, we do have a wall, a couple of different walls that span that area. So I'm just going to use these. I'm going to multi-select just by holding down control on my keyboard. I can single click on each wall and open them at the same time. So we'll open those for specification and under that foundation tab we can create the wall and footing below. I'll select OK. And since we had that auto rebuild foundation selected, now when we go down to our foundation level we'll see that that has been built for us. And in our 3D view, I'm just going to rotate up a little bit here and we'll see that that has been built. There's one more area I wanted to cover, and that's the framing. Um, so since we have created this um, foundation across the structure, I want to make sure our joists run accordingly. Um, so I'm going to get back into my plan view here and get into my framing tools. In the framing option, the last area here is that joist direction. So I'm going to make sure they run the correct direction up and down here just by clicking and dragging out a little direction line. And now when we build our framing, I can just build that framing and of course you can specify all of the different components here. I'll select OK and now that has been built according to my specification. And then of course you can single click on each individual framing member and specify that more in depth. So with the automatic tools you can easily get this configured but you can edit after that automatic has been built. So if you're interested in learning more visit our website chiefarchitect.com
You can find this cottage beach design through our samples gallery and you can actually open up that plan and work with it yourself. So definitely get on there and check it out and have a wonderful day.